Compound V. It is singularly the reason that separates the boys' universe from our own, but despite its pivotal role in their universe, we don't receive much information about it. So in this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of this hero-making drug. Compound V was created by Frederick Vought a scientist who lived in Germany during the Third Reich. Initially intended for use by German soldiers during World War II to turn the tide, by the time that the super soldier program was ready, Germany was already losing the war. Vaught and his wife, Clara Reisinger, had fled to the United States under Operation Paperclip, a real US operation to recruit high-ranking German scientists to prevent them from falling into Soviet hands. During this time, Vaught injected his wife, Clara, with his stabilized version of Compound V, making her the world's first soup. After Operation Paperclip, Vaught had a field-tested version of Compound V, and used it to create Soldier Boy, America's first soup and the strongest at the time. Over the years, Vought established the company Vought American, later Vought International, and began covertly injecting the formula into newborn babies through a charity service that delivered to hospitals. This created the public perception that superheroes were naturally born. Additionally, other parents were also contacted to give their kids Compound V and were heavily pressured under NDA to not speak. After Frederick Vought's death, Vought continued to perpetuate the illusion that anyone could be a hero. Well, until Homelander shattered that illusion in later seasons. However, it seems that the formula degraded somewhat in the years after his death. Soldier Boy and Stormfront received Fought's original formula, which seemed more effective as it granted them strength and halted their aging. Both are around 100 years old when we meet them in the show. Stormfront even had a daughter with Fought, who she outlived. Since Frederick's death, it appears he never actually entrusted the company with a stabilized version of the formula, and they've been attempting to perfect it with mixed success. We've seen that some with Vought's new formula have powers that are not useful at all. In Season 2 at the Sage Grove facility, they attempted to test the formula on adults as the new formula worked better on children. It looks like Tempfee, the 24-hour drug, is their attempt to market superhero powers to the general public. It would probably make them a lot of money. Additionally, despite a team of scientists, they can control which powers a person like Homelander receives. However, during this season, he started aging, suggesting that they either forgot to halt his aging or intentionally allowing him to age faster. What are your thoughts on Compound B? Do you think that Vought's plans with it would let everyone turn into superheroes for a price? Let us know in the comments down below.